I've been a fan of Penn and Teller for many, many years now. So I've followed the, followed them on social media. I've seen all the shows, and I've seen them live, perform live five times. And I think I'm just a big fan of of Penn and Teller and what they do. Penn is the the one who talks on stage, and he has something called a cameo, which is a, a website where you can pay to have someone basically. Usually, what they'll do is people will, uh, find out somebody's a fan of something, and then they'll go and uh, tell them happy birthday or something like that, which is cool. So you can uh, actually have someone like Penn pay him to to talk about something. In this case, I've been trying to get the idea of performance art in as much as that this is something I just do for myself, the YouTube channel. It's something that I've, I've been trying to figure out for a while, uh, how to word it. And I've, I knew I heard Penn talk about this before years ago, and I just wanted him to describe it better. So uh, he's on Cameo, so I got a Cameo of him talking about performance art. So let's watch that. Hey, Rudy, this is Penn. Let's talk performance art. You know, um, I use that word almost always, um, that phrase, almost always a little bit, a little bit ironically, uh, a little bit goofily. Is that a word? Goofily? Sure. And, um, you know, because you got like Andy Kaufman and, and Laurie Anderson and even back in Duchamp and the Dada people. And, uh, you know, a lot of the a lot of the art in the 80s, people that, uh, you know, sitting in museums naked with people being able to hold guns on them and stuff. Uh, I like that stuff. But the way I use it is kind of like this, um, uh, you know, being an atheist. Um, there can be this feeling of the uh, pointlessness of life. And uh, there's the end of the uh, Camus book, The Myth of Sisyphus, where we must imagine Sisyphus smiling. And I use it as just doing something arbitrarily, that kind of existentialism where what's important about what I'm doing right now is the fact that I've chosen to make what I'm doing right now important. And of course, that's the big picture of all life, but in the small picture, I'm going to do performance art by, um, you know, sitting here with a stuffed duck on my head for two hours. Um, always kind of points out that that's what all life is. And um, I find enjoyment from it. So sometimes I do something very arbitrarily. I mean, sometimes it's big whole life stuff, like maybe my not drinking is kind of like that. But, um, but sometimes I just, uh, I just choose to do things. Uh, right now it's been... Uh, it's been exercise. It's almost like performance art. I'm doing it just because I'm here and I'm alive and uh, I've decided to do it. And I have control over that. So uh, the idea of performance art is very complicated, silly, and rich at the same time to me. Thanks for asking. Love you. Peace, Rudy. So that was, that was Penn talking about it. I want to break it down a little bit more, so I'll just go over it. It's only two minutes, so... Let's talk about it a little bit more. Hey, Rudy, this is Penn. Let's talk performance art. You know, um, I use that word almost always, um, that phrase, almost always a little bit, a little bit ironically, uh, a little bit goofily. Is that a word? Goofily? Sure. And, um, you know, because you got like Andy Kaufman and, and Laurie Anderson and even back in Duchamp and the Dada people. And, uh, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the art in the 80s people that, uh, you know, sitting in museums naked with people being able to hold guns on them and stuff. Uh, I like that stuff, but the way I use it is kind of like this, um, uh, you know, being an atheist. Um, it's cool that he mentioned that he's an atheist without knowing that I am too, and I didn't have a, I didn't prompt him with anything. I just basically asked him, performance art, how do you view it? How is performance art? in a way of just doing something for yourself, basically. There can be this feeling of the uh, pointlessness of life. And uh, there's the end of the uh, Camus book, The Myth of Sisyphus, where we must imagine Sisyphus smiling. And I use it 
as just doing something arbitrarily, that kind of existentialism where what's important about what I'm doing right now is the fact that I've chosen to make what I'm doing right now important. There. <laughs> Way easier. <laughs> I, there have been so many videos I've made to try to describe what I'm doing or why I do YouTube or social media in general. Just, I exist. So here's me existing. That was that was really well put. I, I enjoyed that part. And of course, that's the big picture of all life. But in the small picture, I'm going to do performance art by, um, you know, sitting here with a stuffed duck on my head for two hours. Um, always kind of points out that that's what all life is. And um, I find enjoyment from it. So sometimes I do something very arbitrarily. I mean, sometimes it's big whole life stuff, like maybe my not drinking is kind of like that. But, um, but sometimes I just, uh, I just choose to do things. Uh, right now it's been, uh, it's been exercise. It's almost like performance art. I'm doing it just because I'm here and I'm alive and- uh... Doing it because I'm here and alive. You really don't need more than that, really. I mean, having, being, existing, and just, in this case, with YouTube, I can point it out and say, hey, I'm here and here's me existing, right? I've decided to do it. I have control over that. So, uh, the idea of performance art is very complicated, silly, and rich at the same time to me. Thanks for asking. Love you. Peace, Rudy. Hey, Rudy. So that's really cool. I, the fact that just to exist. I mean, I I got the cameo so that way he could explain what I do here better, maybe. And I think he did. I don't really... Existing is my reason to do this. I think that's the best way to put it. So I'll still try to chip away at this on my own with my own brain, but I think this is a great stepping stone for what I've been doing on this YouTube channel for the past five years now.